everyone and welcome back to more Stellaris with me, Idiotic Ultimara. Um, as I have mentioned previously, I was not really in the mood for playing as the machines. They didn't seem very effective at what they did. So this time around, I am going the Ein Silu, Ein Silu Collective. I'm probably going to change the mass drivers. I want to start the game off in weapons. Yeah, missile weapons. I also want to have... Like, I really like wormhole travel. Wormhole travel is so strong. Yeah, I, I like wormhole travel the most. Out of everything, wormhole travel is my favourite. So yeah, I'm gonna go miss, uh, missiles and wormhole travel. We've seen how strong missiles were to start with. Uh, my leader lifespan is negative 10. Meh. I believe. I'm not, I don't fully remember, but I think some the actual leaders immortal i think i don't r fully remember anyway let's uh resave over that and let's start with nuclear missiles wormhole travel still think wormhole travel is the best um hyperspace is pretty good too and then i will start we're going to start have a huge galaxy i'm going to go with the el elliptical um galaxy size there's going to be 10, between 10 and 21 AI, between, uh, let's see, 4 and 8 AI advanced starts, 2 to 4 fallen empires, 1.5 times the primitive civilizations, you know what? Yeah, uh, crisis is going to be 1.5 times strength, let's put it down to 1.25 times strength, AI aggressiveness is going to be normal, difficulty is going to be hard. Allowed, FTL method, any, Empire placement, random, advanced neighbours are off. Let us start. So, as I said, we are the Insilu. Uh, did I even, I don't even know if I started recording. Yes, I did. Uh, we are going to be the Insilu this time around. They are pretty, pretty strong. Um, we have, we are preferred co continents, maps. We have a very, we're very strong, so our army damage is plus 40% on top of uh, the other 40% we get. Our army strength is plus 80% to start with. Our growth speed is plus 20%. We have a repugnant um, leader, but who really cares? And our leader lifespan is fleeting. Um, I thought you... Pretty sure you're, um, yeah, you are immortal. The leader here is immortal, but that's, at least I don't have to keep fucking about that. That's fine by me. And a devouring swarm also increases my army damage by 40%. So I have an army damage of, <laughs> so we have civics plus 20%, devouring swarm plus 40%. And we also have, uh, what is it? Where is it? <sighs> What's? And we also have very strong. So, our army strength is plus 100% on top of anyone else. So what's our army strength then? 6.9 to start with. Holy shit. If you have that, that is the average army strength. And again, as I said, I'm not going to go with the... Um, a machine races. I'm not too fully happy with them. I didn't think they were great. I want to recruit the anomaly risk. Ooh, I actually really want that too. Um, I've got a hundred, so I could do the ancient civilizations anomaly research speed and anomaly fail risk chances decreased. And I also want. I really want you. Uh, was it spark of genius? Yeah. You're really good too. You're really exp you're really old though. Uh, what I can do is do I want fusion reactors? I guess. I do want to become pretty powerful to start with. That will be fine. And fusion missiles too. And I'll change you over to this. That's a bit cheesy to do. So what you could do is Actually, no, that wouldn't even work, would it? No, that'd be worse off. So you can, like, 
have, say, the genius replace someone uh, in order to get better expertise abilities. We, I guess I could do the engineering facility just for extra research speeds. How are we looking here? We have plenty of food right now. Hydroponics farms, mining facilities. What do we want? Hmm. It's base of two, base of two, so it's two, four, six, base of one, one, two, three, four, five. So energy is more important in this planet. And we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five? What two, no, four, science, two, four, six food. So it could be either an energy or a food planet. I'll decide when I see more science ships around. What are you? Anomaly field risk chance? Yeah. Um, on top of that, I do want to build myself. Uh, or, no, not a Corvette, a spaceship. Not two right now, I don't have enough money for two. I probably want to build more Corvettes soon as well. Okay. Um, I don't want you to have the rally point. I don't have anything here. They are not growing anywhere. Science is incredibly important early on in the game. I'll make my capital everything. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll change my capital to have everything in it. I don't want to build anything yet. Because I have to wait till things grow. My people do grow really fast though. What's my jump speeds like? Okay, I've got a decent chunk around me. And yeah. I, I have a really good chance of meeting up with a... Uh, enemy um a fallen empire really early on not the best thing but who cares okay do my traditions change okay that was that was conf yeah so what the hive mind uh speech is like is it's all it's multiple People speaking at the same time, it kind of, eh, yeah, um, so traditions, does this change at all? I don't think so. Well, that changes, the hive mind stuff changes a little bit, um, but I don't think much else has changed. Food has increased, gene modification points, that's still the same, of course this is still the same. That's all the same, and yeah, cool. Okay, let us continue. Hello, hello, hello to whoever's actually here. I do not know who is here. We have a Alpine world, which I can't colonize, and an arid world, which I cannot colonize. Although they did reduce it so that you can colonize things that are level, that are um, 20. Not level 20, but 20 strength. No, god damn it. Not 20 strength. That's weird. Uh, yeah, go research. Not 20 strength. You can have... 20 habitability. You can now terraform. You can now colonize these. Two seconds, I'll be right back.
I'm going back. Who is watching me? I'm gonna check. La da da da. Who's that? Uh, pardon me. Iskander. Welcome, welcome. I do actually check who's um, watching usually. Ugh, I like to know. Okay, let's continue, shall we? Oh, actually, before we continue, I want to go into my chat. There. So that if anybody comes into my Discord and actually wants to talk to me, they can. I do not mind. At all. Yeah, I can't colonize either of those planets, of course. Not yet, but it won't be too long until I can. All I need is one habitability plus 5%. Hey, 116%. 116 credits, was that? I think that's what it said. You, I actually want you to go build this next. <sighs> that's so weird. Uh, leapy for now, please. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, build that. You go to this system, please. Come on. There we go. Survey that system. I have a decent chunk of money. So after that, I'll wait actually. Because this might have a lot of stuff here, possibly. And I would, wouldn't mind having a big stockpile of minerals. Nope, don't want that. You're growing there. I actually wanted to go there because I want to build the uh, Autoc Autoc what whatever that is. Autoc Thon uh, monument. Yeah. Still not found any. We have found an <sighs> wow. So now level two, and that's uh. You know what? Construction vehicle afterwards. Go here. And build this. Research station. That's going to get really, really hard to deal with. But it's cool. It's really shit and pretty cool at the same time. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, what? Really? Size 22 planet? That's well, continental already. Nice. Nice. I like that. Okay. Hey, you gained a level. Good, good. Go you. You can get things better. Do I have any good ones here? I have the maniacal one, which is pretty cool. Yep, you have. So let's start doing this system here. We have the system. Yes, you have. Go to here then. And I'll go round in a circle like I usually do. I might have made my mouse too sensitive, but it's fine. It's hard to pinpoint things. Tropical and tundra, I think. I can't get either of those. Possibly the tropical. I'm not too sure. Our construction is complete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You build me the autochthon and possibly Corvettes fairly soon. Once I meet uh, uh, another enemy race, I'll start building up a little army to kill them, since everybody's going to be my enemy. Everyone. <laughs> yeah, I can colonize that, that's fine. I'm thinking this one first though. We have found an anomaly. Yep, you can research that. Can't colonize that, nope, Arctic. Can't colonize them. Aramur traditions looking, nine months. 
As per usual, it's going to be discovery first, so I can get that research point gain. And then what I might do is... Who leveled up? You? First one? Did you level up? Yes, you did. Good. So maybe I'll go do stuff. All tile blockers have been cleared on stereo. Wait, what? Huh. That's good. Cool. Um, not that I can do anything with it, but okay. I guess that's fine. You. Yeah, that will go before that does. Our construction is yeah, yeah, place. yeah. Armies. Spaceport. Hmm. We have surveyed the system. Uh, leave me for now. That's, that's pretty harsh. Let's go to here. Survey that, please. Uh, actually, you know what? Finish this off. Because, why the hell not? How's my research doing? Faci Engineering facilities are doing. Are we almost done. Uh, this one. Who was next here? Survey that, please. Yeah, you'll be you'll finish growing fairly quickly. <clears throat> Less worry with um, energy credits now that I'm not the machine race. That was just irritating. I could build up a assault army already. Or build up a little Our combat sword. Yep. Uh, you know what? Yeah, research that. Because you can. Yay! Um, I got that. Yep. So I have a better discovery chance of getting a 15% increased discovery chance, which is really nice. Hello. Hello. Why? Where's your top? Go put a t-shirt on. Go put a t-shirt on. I was wondering. Okay. Well, I was wondering what you were doing, though. At least no one got hurt. That's okay. Busy's gain. Which... So I've got two already finished? Nice. Good, good, good. I know. Well, next month they'll both be finished. Both researches. Technology Yay. Uh, I think the ion thruster. And the... Wow, that's a big thing one. Riley, come on. Okay. Behave. Possibly naval capacity already. Um, Actually, although... This is really easy to do. Because you get the spark of... The devouring swarm thing, which is awesome. Now I've got more unity. Uh, I don't want to upgrade you. I probably won't be even having you soon. You go there. Wow, there's nothing there. You gotta be kidding me. Save that system, please. I want you to start building me another Corvette. Another building army. I'm only at plus 17 right now, but that will go up pretty quick once I start, once my border range starts getting higher. Yep. Can I go here, please? Sorry about that. I've still got that tick too as well. Our construction is complete. Uh, do I want to just like clear one of these tiles so you can use it? Probably. Because you're more important than 
Yay. Uh, minerals. Why the new game? Did you see the last game? <laughs> so, the first one was, a, uh, was the research guys. The contingency one. Like, um, I couldn't do anything against the contingency. They were... They even destroyed the Insilu. Or were destroying the Insilu. And that's, and that's saying something when the Insilu was such a... Um, so much higher than me. And then I tried out another, an exterminatus, um, machine race, and after the exterminatus machine race, I realized machines are not that great. Machines are very, very, very bad right now, and the sole purpose why I think they're bad is because they have, they don't have food, they have energy. And energy is like the most important early game resource. Well, energy is like the most important resource in the game, I think. And when your machines, so your population, consume the most important resources in the game, it becomes incredibly hard to maintain. Especially early game, when you're trying to build up everything else. If they had something where it was like both half and half, or they had a separate type of food, that'd be really nice. I'd much rather have a separate type of food for the machine races rather than energy itself. And no, uh, the ener the end game event was it a million? I think it was two hundred fifty thousand, eat or like two hundred thousand each monster. And the strongest fleet I had at the time was a hundred, not even a hundred thousand, it was like 18, 90,000 and I got fucked. And all of the, all of my allies, Riley, shh, all of my allies only had a fleet of about a hundred thousand as well. And it was like, oh my god, we got fucked. But it wasn't one 200 fleet, it was like four 200,000 fleets, one 200,000 structure and one... 450,000 strength fleet and it was like fuck me that is so harsh so we got pretty massacred the contingency is pretty strong i didn't think they were that strong but i did have so i upped the difficulty from the contingency the machine race the contingency it's what they're called they build machine worlds, like three or four machine worlds. Nope, no blue aliens. It's, uh, the contingency is a machine. Yeah. And it just, it was harsh. It was very harsh. It wasn't the void walkers or whatever you call them. Um, the ones that blow up your planets. Yeah, it wasn't them. Or take your planets to another system or whatever it is. Yeah, they would have knackered me completely. Yeah. Hey, research that. But yeah, like... I just don't feel machines are great right now. They need a change. Even... So, like, I went through a couple of things. And one, one of the benefits is, of course, their leaders are... Immortal. But who cares if your leaders are immortal if they're costing you a hundred... You can only have one extra leader when you can have two extra leaders for every other race at the start of the game. But, like, it's... Cover your mouth, please. Um, so, yeah, it's like... My new race is the Ansilu. They are a devouring swarm that has strength of legions, so plus 20% uh, army damage. They also have the devouring swarm, which gives them another plus 40% army damage. Uh, I'm a hive mind, of course. On top of that, I have very strong, so I have plus 
army damage, so I'm a, I have a hundred percent extra army damage. So when I go to conquer a planet, the planet's fucked instantaneously. I eat populations, so I ha because I'm a devouring swarm. I eat populations whenever I take a planet. Uh, each plant, each population I take, eat gives me society research. Uh, my ship hull points are increased by 25%. My ship regenerations is 0.5% per month. And my research speed on biology only is 20%. Oh yeah. Yeah, I know. But I tried that already. Um, oh yeah, another thing that I thought machine races lacked was a bonus. Like, a really nice thing that like a bonus that they can have. So, for example, the bonus of the Devouring Swarm is the plus 25% uh, hull, ship hull points, the monthly regeneration, the army damage plus 40%, and the research speed for biology. My leader is also... Um, is also immortal. But machines don't have that. Like, they didn't get a benefit from anything that I could see. Like, there was no true benefit. There wasn't increased research, which should be a thing. They, like, they should always have. Being being a machine should give you 100% increased cost in leadership. Yeah, that's fine. Immortal leaders, that's fine. And should give you something else on top of that. Like, being a machine should allow you to have uh, I know that being able to colonize every planet is really nice, but it's really bad at the same time. Like you don't want your uh, research speed, uh, research speed to be. Your leaders not dying isn't a benefit. I don't mind my leaders not dying because it doesn't cost that much in the way of influence, like. I'd much rather spend 50 influence to get two leaders at the start of the game and two extra science ships than 100 for one extra science ship. And 100 influence for one extra science ship and that's it. I would also, at late game, uh, if your leaders keep dying every so often, you're, you're able to spend what? Something like 30 influence over 80 influence. Like, there's a huge difference there. Leaders become a bit meh, late game. Uh, and I know the other benefits they have is the fact that they can um, colonize every single planet in the game. Again, that's a really nice benefit. Late game, early game is not the biggest benefit. Early game, they need another benefit. They are incredibly weak early game. Late game, I would say they're one of the strongers. Early, they're one of the weaker ones. I would like to see a, um, a buff to them. Any buff. The buff of changing it from energy consumption per population to something else. Because that energy upkeep per population is insane. It's so high. Um, or it would like have something that would be their food. Also, you could have, what else is there? A buff to all their research because they're fucking machines. <laughs> they're machines. They should have a buff to research. Like, at plus 10% plus research speed for machines would be really, like, understandable. Uh, out of all of the machine races that I've played, the rogue, rogue servitors are really, really strong because they can get a plus 40% production to everything if they have enough people. Like, organics. And that's a great benefit. Whereas, um, like, the extermination ones don't have a benefit. Every time you purge a population, you gain a very, very small amount of unity, which is shit. Like, it takes, like... 20 years to purge a population and you get eight 
you do get eight um, energy for each population you're purging per month, which is really sweet. I must say that. By the end of it, you get like a month's worth of unity per population, and that it just doesn't seem worth it. Anyway, I will see everyone in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Have fun, people, and goodbye. <laughs>